The beagle originated in England. Its heritage stretches back to the packs of hunting hounds kept by landed gentry to hunt deer and hare. Beagle-like scent hounds were known as far back as 1475 when the word beagle was first used to describe this type of hunting dog. It's a matter of debate whether the name comes from a Celtic word meaning small or a French word meaning open mouth or loud mouth. Given the beagle's propensity for barking when he catches an interesting scent on a wind, the latter theory seems most likely. Early beagles look different depending on the type of ground over which they were expected to hunt. Houndsmen who lived in the gentle countryside of southern England produced slow and ponderous dogs. Beagles from the rougher terrain of Britain's border with Scotland were agile with lots of endurance. In the early 19th century, breeders worked to standardize the breed so they would have a more uniform appearance and temperament. But even today, they aren't that different from the beagles of 200 years ago. If one of these dogs were to come forward into the future, you would still recognize him as a beagle, and the same is true if a modern beagle were to be transported to the past. A tax collector named Louis Doberman needed a guard dog to keep the money he carried safe from thieves. To create the intelligent, reliable guard dog that he had in mind, he crossed short-haired shepherd dogs with Rottweilers, black and tan terriers, and German pinchers. Before long, he was producing dogs of a distinct type. The first Doberman pinchers, as they become known, were seen at a dog show in Erfurt, Germany in 1897. Three years later, the breed received official recognition as a German breed. During World War II, the United States Marine Corps used Dobermans in combat as sentries, messengers, and scouts. Dobermans are also seen in archival footage on Okinawa, one of the bloodiest conflicts in American history. The Doberman has a fearsome reputation, but the secret that has made him one of the AKC's most popular dog breeds over the years is his devotion to and love for his family. Beagles are happy, outgoing, and loving. They're often described as having a merry temperament, but they're also known for their mischievous nature. Beagles like to have their own way, and they can be naughty, determined, and stubborn in their efforts to get what they want, which is usually food. Start training early, be patient and consistent, and one day you will wake up to find you live with a great dog. But even so, there are a few beagle behaviors that you should expect to live with throughout his life. They are part and parcel of being a beagle, and nothing you do will change them. Everything a beagle does somehow leads back to his nose. His powerful sense of smell overcomes any good sense you might have tried to instill and tells the beagle to escape from the yard or break into the dog food bag in the pantry or see what's in the trash. Beagles will sing along to sirens, give tongue when they are hunting, and bark when strangers come to the door. But they aren't usually nuisance barkers unless they are bored or lonely. If you don't live out in a country where no one else is around to hear his drawn out bark, keep your beagle occupied with toys, the company of other animals, or best of all your presence so he doesn't feel the need to serenade the neighborhood. Beagles like to do what they want to do, not necessarily what you want them to do. They're true masters when it comes to selective hearing. If a beagle isn't interested in the requests you've made, as commands are futile with this breed, it will simply ignore you or wander off. That can be frustrating if you're not prepared for it. Successfully living with a beagle means making everything a game, one that will hold his attention. As for eating, well, beagles will try to eat anything. They're professional food thieves and they will eat anything that even looks like it might be food, including things that you wouldn't imagine would interest them. If nothing else, living with a beagle will teach you, your spouse, and your kids not to leave food of any kind within a beagle's nose range. I should note that your beagle's personality will also be affected by the kind of breeder who produces. Before we continue, please consider hitting that like and subscribe button as it would mean a lot. Thanks. The Doberman's qualities of intelligence, trainability, and courage have him capable of performing many different roles, from police and military dog to family protector and friend. The ideal Doberman is energetic, watchful, determined, alert, and obedient, never shy or vicious. That temperament and relationship with people only occurs when the Doberman lives closely with his family so that he can build that bond of loyalty for which he is famous. A Doberman who is left out in the backyard alone will never become a loving person protector, but instead a fearful dog who is aggressive towards everyone, including his own family. Never do that to your dog. When the Doberman is loved, socialized, and trained, there is no more wonderful companion. Them. Eagles from breeders who produce hunting dogs are more likely to be hard-changing and demanding of exercise. They are unsuited to lying around the house all day while everyone is at work or school. More laid-back beagles typically come from a breeder who shows dogs in confirmation. 
Beagles are generally healthy, but certain health problems can affect them if the breeders aren't careful about performing callus checks. These include hip dysplasia, which is a genetic malformation of the hip socket and certain types of heart conditions. Despite good breeding, beagles may experience tears of anterior cruciate ligament, also known as ACL, which can require surgical repair and intervertebral disc disease, a spinal problem that can make movement painful and may require surgical repair. Seizure disorders, hypothyroidism, diabetes, and cataracts may also be seen in this breed. Less common breed-related conditions include deafness, heart disease, and dwarfism. Avoid breeders who try to sell you a puppy with dwarfism by marketing him as a rare pocket beagle. Dwarf beagles often have physical deformities such as a shortened neck, crooked legs, or a broader skull and are often more prone to chronic arthritis. Not all of these conditions are detectable in a growing puppy and it's impossible to predict whether an animal would be free of these maladies or not, which is why you must find a reputable breeder who is committed to breeding the healthiest animals possible. One of the most serious breed-related health problems in the Doberman is cardiomyopathy, which causes an enlarged heart. An annual heart exam is critical in catching this condition early on, and no dog with the disease should ever be bred. Nor should any Doberman be bred without a comprehensive heart examination by a board-certified veterinary cardiologist and OFA certification within the past year. The sad reality, however, is that a dog who does fine one day can develop heart disease the next, and the puppy of two parents without heart disease can still develop it. Another breed-related condition affecting the Doberman is cervical vertebral instability, commonly called wobbler syndrome. It's caused by malformation of the vertebra within the neck that results in pressure on the spinal cord and leads to weakness and lack of coordination in the hindquarters and sometimes to complete paralysis. Dobermans are also prone to the bleeding disorder known as von Willebrand disease as well as hypoadrenocorticism or Addison's disease. The Doberman Pincher Club of America participates in the Canine Health Information Center, a health database. Before individual Dobermans can be issued a CHIC number, breeders must submit hip, heart, and thyroid evaluations from the Orthopedic Foundation for Animals OFA and eye test results from the Canine Eye Registration Foundation. Eagles are easy care dogs who don't need a lot of fancy grooming. A good going over with a hound mate once or twice a week removes dead hairs and helps keep them from migrating to clothing and furniture. And here's the bad news. Eagles shed year round. The good news is, unless your beagle rolls in something stinky, which honestly is a strong possibility, he shouldn't need a bath more than 3 or 4 times a year. Keep your beagle's droopy ears clean with a solution recommended by your veterinarian. Don't use cotton swabs inside the ear as they can push gunk further down it and wipe out the ear with a cotton ball never going deeper than the first knuckle of your finger. Trim his nails regularly, usually every couple of weeks, as they should never be so long that you hear them clicking on the floor. Grooming is a breeze. Brush the Doberman with a slicker brush or hound's glove every week or even just run a wet towel over him. On the days he needs a bath, use a dog shampoo, not a human product. Rinse thoroughly and let him shake dry or towel dry him. The Doberman sheds moderately. Regular brushing will help keep him and your home neat. As with any dog, brushing before a bath helps eliminate more dead hair, which leaves less hair to shed. Your vacuum cleaner can work longer if you brush your Doberman regularly. The rest is basic care. Trim the nails as needed, usually once a month, and good dental hygiene is important. So brush the teeth frequently for good overall health and fresh breath. Check the ears weekly for dirt, redness, or a bad odor that can indicate an infection. If the ears look dirty, wipe them out with a cotton ball dampened with a gentle ear cleaner recommended by your veterinarian. It's best to introduce your dog to grooming at an early age so he will accept it gracefully. Alright guys. Which one do you think you'll get? Tell me down in the comments.